Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Ramblings with Rebecca that I'm not entirely sure I want to shoot. Um, <laughs> which is a bit strange. Um, but I thought that if I don't want to sh shoot it, all the more reason to talk about it, because clearly we need to re reflect on it some more. Um, there are some things bugging me. Um, so Mandela's state funeral was earlier today, uh, marking the end of 10 days of commemoration, um, at many, many events um, attended by various parties. Uh, but today was a private funeral. Um, Nelson Mandela is now buried in uh, his family plot at his ancestral home. Um, of course, a lot of immediate attention even at that private funeral. Um, I w happened to be in Budapest when uh, I heard about Nelson Mandela and kind of instantly posted on Facebook just a reflection of yeah, we need to remember and honor this one man, but also remember it's so much more than this one man. There are so many others who are part of that specific movement and movements around the world. Um, yeah, and not, you know, kind of allow ourselves to be so overtaken by this individual symbol, right, that we miss the actual message and that kind of thing. Um, but then, uh, and media attention has gone all over the... Yeah, and, and a lot, people have said a lot of different things. Um... I think a lot of those who've spoken at the funerals and the various celebrations um, have done a fairly good job of saying we need to mourn this life, but we also need to celebrate and commemorate and perhaps the, the legacy even more than the life and remember, you know, there's still action, the work isn't done. Um, and this death is a, a call to life as much as anything else and a call to action. Uh and the media's reported that a bit, uh, but also has been a reporting, you know, the selfie scandal and the sign language scandal. Um, and I would say in the first day, my Facebook feed was mostly, you know, people kind of doing rest in peace, favorite Mandela quotes, you know, statements about, you know, we need to keep up the work and that kind of thing. Um, but now it's almost all the Obama selfie, whether or not the Obamas, you know, took a selfie and whether or not that was disrespectful, and then the sign language scandal of whether or not the gentleman who was signing at one of the affairs um, was actually signing, and whether or not he has mental illness and that kind of thing. Um, and certainly I believe the news should report all of these things and consider them and whatnot. Uh, but <laughs> I think in a lot of ways this 10 days of commemoration has turned into a media circus, right, more than a proper reflection, and this is a chance, right, for us to think about and call ourselves to action um, and each other. Um, so first call to action, I would say, would be that very first basic step of awareness. Um, some of my mates hadn't heard of Nelson Mandela, um, and I'm teetering back and forth, we ah! and, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I would say that pro it's fine if you don't know Nelson Mandela's name. Um, you know, go going back to what I you know kind of first said, in that this is just one individual of so many individuals and so you know so many movements, um, and it's not necessarily important that you know exactly who Nelson Mandela is in order to honor him for his contribution. What is uh, important, I think, is to not forget <laughs> the movement itself, right, or to not be aware of the history of apartheid in South Africa, the struggles that have been overcome and are still to be overcome in that area and in all areas around the world, in your backyard, in the backyard across the street, in the backyard across the world, because um, there's still so far to go. Uh, so that first bit of just education, making sure that we know <laughs> what it is that we're, you know, that's still wrong in the world and that, and you know, what we have managed to fix up at least a little bit. Um, but then also a very simple call to action to remember and that this is not over um, and that there's still stuff going on and we need to figure out in some ways how to keep on with the struggle. Um, so I'm going to finish up here um, with a long-ish quote from Mandela because um, he's much more eloquent than I and I think probably these were premeditated rather than rambled. Uh, but I have walked that long road to freedom I have tried not to falter, I have made missteps along the way, but I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom comes responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not ended. 
It's not done yet, folks. We gotta keep walking.